Hello my shining stars, Pisces, here is your November horoscope for 2024. On November 1st we have a new moon in Scorpio in your house 9. It means new energy, new vision, ideas in the house of justice, law, high education, relocation, second marriage. And of course it's not time for active actions yet, not yet because new moon has very low energy. And I give more information about every lunar day on any sphere of our life in my ebook or a book. If you would like, you can check it out. Moon and Scorpio is an amazing time for, for example, for treatment of the head or upper respiratory tract. But it's a bad, very bad time for, for different surgeries, genital area, reproductive system, as well as kidneys and rectum and for beauty uh, moon in scorpio is neutral for cutting hair but it's not recommended to get a perm or wash your hair during this time there were, there were lots of messages there was so much information in this book i really like it i have a very good feedback from my customers it's available on kindle amazon you can have it as a book as a print or just an ebook and enjoy getting in your life everything effortlessly using the lunar energies so when there is a new moon you will have power to attract what you want applying for visas applying for grants for your research grants for example to get justice that you wanted it is the very beginning of application for different documents for learning teaching knowing more about the world or the things that you would want to learn and there will be more clear situation regarding your second marriage this time it has a very lucky aspect with your ruler Neptune. You will be full of energy and you you will be like a magnet that attracts love, harmony, money. Be cautious here because we have retrograde Mercury in November and you might attract scammers too. So if you lower your guard when somebody compliments you a lot, please be cautious, be aware. Con artists will not be passing by, they will be attracted to you. On November 2nd, Mercury enters Sagittarius in your house of status. You will have news regarding different processes connected with documents, promotions, changing of the jobs, bosses, management, important people in your life, investors. And for your sign, it has a lucky aspect with Mars. So you will have a wide door opening of opportunities that magically appears in front of your face that you even didn't expect, but it will be right there, a walking, have no fear. When the whole world will be observing the financial crisis and the most tense aspect of our autumn is the opposition between Mars and Pluto, Mars the planet of war, Pluto a big transformer of our horoscope, and the opposition will, will manifest itself as the financial, political, and energy crisis in the world from November 2nd to November 5th. So while everybody will observe power struggles and political crisis, you will have opportunities. So the opposition of Mars and Pluto is like an eruption of the volcano that we will see in November, the beginning of January next year, and the end of April next year. And these three eruptions will change our world. And together with Pluto shifting signs for the next 20 years, we will have the new world order. The key element here is to have no fear and not to be manipulated by fear. So during the first part of November, it's not a good time for celebrations, parties, do not start anything new. It's, it's a wonderful time to lay low and to focus on your creative projects that you currently already have. The conflict between Mars and Pluto will be on the axis of your house 5 and house 11, house of your creative projects and house of big amount of people. So if you have exhibition, for example, it will not be taken well by society. This is the conflict of interests also. House 5 is house of your children and house of future. Maybe uh, somebody will try to enter university and they will fail and this would be the conflict too. It's a normal flow of this aspect. If you would have conflicts with your partners or with your lovers, if you will break up because it's too emotional and you cannot handle the partner that you don't want to have, just keep in mind if you break up during this time, do not come back because Pluto will cut off everything unnecessary from your life giving you the space for growth 
because Pisces, you are the heroes of this year and the next year too. That's the reality that you wanted for the next 20 years to improve the place of your living, your values, your body. So if you will go, if you will see that certain things disappoint you regarding your business or online media platform, or you will undergo the full transformation, those changes will be for better and they will bring you bigger amount of money in future if you will focus your attention on certain little details right now. On November 4th, Mars will enter Leo, sign in your house of health, and you will become very active regarding day-to-day -day work. You will be so busy with your work. You will be so busy with your health. Mars also sharp objects, fire, bullets, and extreme sports. Very traumatic time, especially in house of your health. Avoid, while Mars is on Leo, until april avoid extreme sports but it's a good time for operations mars and your house six will help you to find right doctors the only thing that if you will undergo some operations right now when mars will go retrograde in december and then it will turn direct you might have to redo certain things that you've done already in the matters of house six it can be operations or it can be any additional responsibilities, pets, service businesses. But it's an amazing time to create art, to create beauty, to renovate things. You will have so much energy that it doesn't matter how busy you will be, you can carry it. And if somebody will try to do or copy whatever you are doing, they will not succeed because you have this astrological aspect in your chart. Use this fire energy on November 11th, Venus, the planet of love, harmony, money, deals, gifts, will enter Capricorn in your house of dreams, in your house of social media, communications, big crowds of people. It means that it's an amazing time for performances, for people who work with people, with big groups of people. You will have luck, love, attention. You will shine like a diamond. It will be impossible not to notice you. Use this time for self-presentation to elevate your self-worth. You will get gifts. You will get promotion. You will get the results that you were waiting for such a long time. Finally, harmony will enter your house of dreams. You will know what you want to achieve with who you want to stay. Usually, Venus brings a very nice, good friend with who you can share the joy, working, traveling, creating art. Oh, this is Blue Jay saying hello to you. You will have great results in social media businesses, advertising and promotion. And of course, success is granted here. On November 15th, we have a full moon in Taurus. In the world, it's the full moon of bankruptcies, financial crisis and revolutions. And on the background of that full moon, it's a very emotional time. It will be in your house three, house of your closest surroundings, this full moon has a good aspects for you in terms of education, relocation, collecting information that you need that you can monetize later. And sometimes information is power. Sometimes you need just to have that little information in order to, to be safe, then sorry. Around November 15th, don't be surprised if some devices, laptops, or sources of communication will act weird or just stop working. Do not rush to the repair store. Wait a couple of days. Maybe they will start working again. This is the effect of astrological energies. If you would have different unexpected events, do not worry because your guardian angels will be on each step with you. And I can uh, make a parallel Pisces, like fish in the ocean. Despite the hurricane and tsunamis on the surface, you always can go in the depth of the ocean and have calm, nice surrounding. You can observe what is happening around and benefit from this situation. This full moon will offer you, again, karmic rakes, but it will be like having an exam. And the simplest actions and deeds of kindness will be the best things to perform during this time. Not the good time for conflicts with your roommates, siblings, your surroundings, colleagues, because house three is house with who you work, with who you live, with who you, with who you communicate. 
on November 19th and 20th, Pluto will enter Aquarius. It's a big shift in the world. I have a separate video of what Pluto brings in the world when it's in Aquarius. Every cycle of Pluto in Aquarius, we have some kind of new world order, revolutions, events in the world that I analyzed in my video. If you're interested, please check it out. For you, dear Pisces, Pluto will enter your house 12 house very personal house but usually it's a house of immigration so don't be surprised if you will decide to relocate to go to some distant island or distant places closer to the nature closer to the water it's your element water will have healing properties for you and you will feel better and you will look better when you will have water some bodies of water where you live the downsides of this aspect is if for the last 20 years you fell into a trap of bad habits, addictions, and some destructive behavior, this would be the time either of a new cycle, cycle of all of that that will bring you to an end or it will be a full transformation and full cleansing and you will be given an opportunity to have a pure clean start and you will be blessed. House 12 is the very last house, house of karma. So if you had some deeds that were unjust, the justice will come right now. And, and maybe the place of isolation will be your new house or home for the next 20 years. So don't commit the crimes. Pluto is no joke. It will give you what everybody deserves. Don't be surprised if you will be attracted and change the religion, new beliefs. You will undergo the full transformation how you see the world and will have totally new values if before you probably wanted to just to have a job a sports car or something luxurious then your values will be changed and now your values will be your significant other or the child or a pet and your life will be simpler happier because in the reality we don't need much to be happy the materialism and the possessions that you have this is what makes us overstressed more everybody comes to that certain point through the struggle through the experiences in our life that's why it's important to have very grateful set of mind and accept the things as they are right now accept the fact that you are where you have to be right now and you are grateful for what you have and you are ready to be open-minded and to cleanse your life and to invite wealth and abundance do you accept it also pluto brings a uh, very powerful responsibilities but also it's like a vacuum cleanse your life from all the unnecessary people and all the toxic people in your environment will start behave to the urge of their toxicity to show you that you have to cut off the connections with those people otherwise for the next 20 years they will be just feeding on you, sucking on your energy. I don't think anybody would want that. Your ruler, Neptune, at some point will stop being retrograde and will remove the pink glasses from your eyes. You will see the true colors of the things. And its transit through the Pisces until 2026 will be such a wonderful time for you. It's a miracle time. On November 19th and 20th, we have a very romantic, nice aspect between Sun is in love with Neptune, your ruler, and it means that it's time for some romance, gifts, pleasures, joy, luxury, harmony, satisfaction, and, and when your dreams are coming true, and show yourself some self-love. Everything is in your hands. You're not a tree. You always can move. You are a powerful water element like an ocean you can have any lens of waves but you can be very high as a wave you can be a very tall wave or you can be a very small wave but it doesn't change your value or change your self-worth it changes how you impact other people that's what is important and the focus of your nearest year will be how you, how your self-worth impacts other people on November 21st, Sun will enter Sagittarius in your house of status, bringing you good news regarding documents, promotion, immigration, status, your goals, your achievements. Maybe you will receive an award or an Oscar for your best performance. It's a good time to receive a new passport, buy some luxury, but keep the receipts because in the end of the month we will have retrograde Mercury 
and retrograde Mercury says the algorithms for dissatisfaction, return or broken items or stolen things. Saturn retrograde is in your house in Pisces and you will be more organized, more self-controlled, more self-disciplined and you will be blessed and you will have satisfaction from being organized. You will attract more money when you will take responsibility for your decisions and actions. From November 26th to December 16th, we have retrograde Mercury phase in your house of status. Do not start any new things, but it's a good time to redo, appeal, do certain things again, rebrand. All clients will come back. All projects will bring you money. Your ambitions and goals will be revised because if you achieved already something that you wanted, you will want to have new things. So it's a good time for planning and revision or to looking back at what you currently have and improve it or even sell old things to cleanse. To It's a wave of luck to have second chances in everything regarding your house stand. If you were denied in some visas, you can reapply. Be ready that some of your old lovers will remember you and might come back to your life and you will be offered the, another set of karmic rakes. Will you want to step on them or not? But you are right now more mature, wiser. So you know how to deal with the manipulators that will pop up from your past. Be cautious with scammers and con artists. And keep in mind, you will become a winner when everybody else will decide to give up and will offer you to give up too. So if you will be in all your old projects, if you will be persistent, you will be the one who will win the prize. And because you will be so great at your performing, you might have some conflicts with your colleagues or your bosses or your management because they will see you as a threat. But Pisces is a very diplomatic sign, so you will know how to deal with those people in order to benefit out of all this situation. Or maybe you will observe that old management will come back or they will invite you back where you've been working before. I will create a separate video or little shorts for Retrograde Mercury. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I will be happy to see you on my channel again. I wish you to have an amazing month and hope to see you in my future videos. Goodbye.